Hey guys, um, I'm gonna show you how I made. I'm gonna show you like the behind the scenes of my redstone timer. See, this is my um symbol. Okay, let's see. Okay, so first of all, when you press the start button, what happens is it sends a signal, which, you know, just for the sake of lag. I'm just gonna break that. Okay, yeah. So what happens is when you press the when you press the button, it flip flops, so it goes on, off, and then it starts this redstone um redstone repeat. I mean redstone clock going in a circle, and it, every time it activates, it pushes this wool block, which um. I have set up the different numbers. I'll give you a look. There you go. So what I did was for every um, number I had, I had to build one of these, except further and further back. So, um, yeah. And then, so what happens is with the whole timer thing, so when there's a certain, when you, um, so say you press a minute. So what happens is when this, when you press that, it here we go. It comes. Um, let me find it. Okay, here is the thing. So what happens is, it'll go once it reaches a minute. It'll say, "Time's up." And but what happens is this piston has to be extended. So when you activate the redstone, it uh. This was just for testing purposes. But when you activate the redstone. It extends that, and then okay, it doesn't like it right there, but so it extends it, and then what happens is once it reaches a minute, it instantly says that, and then I just, for the sake of a zero delay, I just do this all the way back to the stop button. What happens is, um, it it pulls this piston back but when you press go when you press start it extends this before it activates this redstone timer so it starts counting up and so every time that it reaches a zero it um, sets off a little pulse which um, changes this which makes 10 seconds 20 seconds 30 seconds all that stuff and um, and then after that it's the same so then once it reaches, you know, one, it ex it Okay, yeah, so it uh extends this uh then then it flips and then it extends that and then it goes through that cycle. And then so what I have here is that so when it reaches this it activates that it uh, extends so if this is not extended that means the timer has not been set so then but then if you do act activate the timer then the um then the thing then the um oh sorry um then the and then it says the thing. Sorry, I zoned off there. And, um, this is my uh, little symbol. YD for your the green bug. This is 100% my idea. Um. Yeah, so, that's how I do the, all the stuff. Oh, and, um, also, when there's, there's the reset button. What happens is when you press the reset button, what happens is it deactivates all the timers so I could actually activate um, a couple timers at once and just keep having to press start so I could activate the um, let me get there I wish I could have faster flying but uh see there's one minute I could activate all these at the same time I'll do that you know okay so I've turned on all of the clock, I mean the little timers, 
So see, look, that piston is extended, that piston is extended, and that piston is extended. So what happens is, now if it reaches, you know, a minute, it'll send the signal through and to the command block. Same here, and then same there. And now all I have to do is I'll just fly on back, press the reset button, and then it turns it off. Thank you. My fly was not wanting to engage. See, look, it deactivates all the pistons. See? Thank you. So that's how my redstone um, timer works. Um, thank you all for watching. A like is much appreciated. You, um, subscribe if you also like it. I don't expect you to, but, eh, it always makes me feel good. Um, thank you, and, um, I bid you all farewell.